Let me tell you, these ain't your grandpa's clamps, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm old enough to be a grandpa, but I'm not a grandpa yet. I got two kids and no grandkids yet, but I'm looking at the Hot Wheels Track Builder parts, and here's a clamp, and you might think, wow, clamps, boring. Why would you make a video just on clamps? Mark, why would you have a bunch of e-case boxes for the clamps? They're boring. Why do you need more than one clamp? Well, you're going to find out. You know, clamps been around for a long time. This is an original 1968 clamp. I think uh, that's a copyright date, 1968, maybe 1967. They might have copyrighted it. Yeah, 1967, before they started. This was the purple color. And you old timers, you probably know about these uh, purple connectors too. Yeah, these are the very first connectors. Connectors and clamps. And you know what? They also had uh, trestles like this so that we can have our cars come up and over. I actually use these trestles in a uh, track time video if you missed that video or if you want to see something funner than this one you can check out that video right there where i use a bunch of parts from a bunch of decades i used uh, curves from the nine all, all sorts of decades i use different parts you can check that out click the annotation if you'd like but uh, this this video is going to be for your brain not for fun and i think you're going to like it uh, by the way, those trestles were cool on one hand because you could stack them up. You could connect them together and you can stack them. As a matter of fact, I happen to have a vintage uh, set right here. So Mark, why are you talking about trestles? You're supposed to be talking about clamps. Hey, hang on, would you? Oh, it's a little tall for the camera. There you have a vintage trestle accessory pack by Mattel. Five trestles for a hot strip track. Look, you make bridges, bridges, right? You got one, connect for two. Check it out, some red line cars, very cool. Mm, let's see who's this, uh, two guys, 49 cents. Jeez, what a deal. But anyways, these are brand new, never been used trestles. Look, they're, they're still in the cardboard right there. So anyways, it's the same thing I already showed you. Maybe you'd like to see the back of the box. Look on the back, there you go, there's a clamp. So that's what you would use your clamps for. You connect your track. Clamp it to the table, connect your track, and then you have a little gravity setup. Clamp's been around for years and years and years. There's a look at the top in case you'd like to see. Where's the copyright date? I don't know if it has a copyright. I don't know if that flap's been torn off or not. Here we go, right down here in the corner. 1968 Mattel. So I was a kid in the 60s. I remember all of that stuff. And you know, a lot of Hot Wheels parts has been used for decades and it doesn't get changed look here you have the original clamp just a little plastic screw screws in screws out actually screws in screws out and then you clamp it to the table right here and then it has three spots you can you can clamp it to the top of a uh, chair right and then have your track go this way or that way or you can clamp it to the side of a table like this i zoomed in too close because then i can't do it right but anyways look it's the same i mean nothing's changed here you go the very first one, 1967, and then they re, I don't know what track said, 19, still says 1967 in green, then you got fluoret, this one's dirty, I didn't feel like cleaning it. This one, same thing, look, everything's the same, except they changed it to that Starburst label, and originally it was like a, the Meatball Mattel label. Sorry for the cut, had to sneeze. Anyway, here's, here's that color, and even black, you know, and then when they came out with the Spider-Man web sling knockout, had a clamp for that too. I don't know what happened. Must have got wet. Look, a little baby clamp. So clamps been around for a long time. We haven't seen trestles, however, for a long time. I have not reviewed this yet. Track Builder, Track Essentials. This was uh, last year. See, look, it's in the old workshop box. You can connect the trestles and make different. I have not reviewed these yet. Finally. Dude, you get to the point. Look at it. You can make them into bridges. I don't know if you can see. I don't even know if they have one in there. Watch, let me open it up. Get a clamp. There's your instructions. There you get your rod to uh, screw into it so you can apply pressure. Clamp it. That's the name of this set. But check it out. So not only this is the regular clamp, you would put it in, screw it in like this. And then that's how you 
that's how you get this fixed in place. But this is how it's improved, for one, just for clamps. It has a little uh, soft rubber thing here so that it would grip, it would grip the table. Let me tell you, these things, they just, they slide off because it's just, it's just a slippery plastic. It has grippers, so it will grip to your table or chair or whatever you connect it to. That's a nice touch, but here's the big thing. N notice how uh, these things that were a problem before, <laughs> one thing that I noticed when using these, they're kind of skinny and they kind of wobble a little bit. Yeah, check it out. They made this dual purpose. You got this fat feed footing, fat footing right here. So not only can you use this as a clamp, you can use them as a trestle too. Wow, it doesn't look like you can stack them up. But even still, you can make, take this out and then you make a bridge, right? You do your track layout and you can, you can have a peak two, you can have two lanes going over this way. No, you can't because then this is in the way. You have to go this way. Imagine if you had a piece of track connected to the top and you have a lane, a lane going over the top. Actually, it's going to have to go this way, right? You have some kind of lane going over the top. You got a bridge. Then you got your other lane coming through like this. Wow. <laughs> That's why I have a bunch of these clamps. It's not just a clamp. It is so multi-purpose that I'm going to be, I'm going to be buying quite a few of these. So this is the clamp. When you use these on a table, this is probably the best part. It starts your gravity race right here because it's really easy for you to put your car right here and it's not trying to escape because you could put it right here and it's easy for you to hold on to it and then get it in for your gravity setup. I know, I know some people, they try to get their, the, the ramp and they try to start it right here because they want their car to go the fastest. But sometimes it's, it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to hold your car in place while you're getting ready to start your race. You want your gravity drop because you have to get it up against here and then let go without pulling it away from the track. So I, I recommend if you're using uh, a gravity drop, use this angle right here and have a nice slope going into your gravity layouts. You would think that uh, big deal is a clamp. Let me tell you, this is a big deal. And you're going to be seeing it in uh, track time videos in the future. I'm definitely going to be using this for some of my layouts. As far as uh, Spidey, if you didn't get a chance to see him before, I'll give you a, a card link for that so you can check out the Spider-Man. I'm laughing because I had fun with my son. Jeremy helped me with that video. It was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, well, more fun than this video here. But this video that I did right now was not supposed to be a fun video. It's an informational video telling you this little $4 in the USA at Toys R Us, this little $4 part, wow, this really opens things up. I had posted on my race crew's social feeds, Twitter, Facebook. I had asked people to show me pictures of how they were using this clamp. Michael Mathis, look at one thing he did. Yeah, he made it into a curve support. Wow, that, that's pretty ingenious. He popped this off, and now he has a little thing to prop up his curves. You know, this part right here, I think it's only in the Super 6 and 1 sets. So you take this, and this is, this is how you would pop up your curves in the Super 6 and 1. But where do you get these? I haven't seen them in a long time. Well, guess what? Now you get yourself a clamp, and you can prop up your curves. Not only did he do that, but he also, it looks like he had a track set called uh, Gorilla Takedown. It looks like Gorilla Takedown, but he was missing some of the parts. He turned around and used the clamps to get the set to work again without the Gorilla parts. I'm sure you guys are going to come up with creative ways as well to use this clamp. I know I am. I'm, I'm going to be using it for uh, quite a few of my track time videos and who knows what else. In the meantime, have fun with your toys. Bye bye.